Hi everyone, so James MCI here. How you doing? Welcome me back to my let's play of Dragon Quest, of Journey of the Cursed King. Last time around, we finally arrived at Pekum, and in this episode we're just really going to explore this because there's a lot to do in this time. First up, we do the usual thing of exploring, and we get Cow Pat from that jar. Very um, unique item. We get 26 bowls from that barrel. Heading up here and in this tent. We get a fair pair of boxer shorts. Heading all the way across here. Up on the rind. We get mini metal. All the way down here now. Alright, looks like he's not home, but we can still go in, because we can. And steal stuff. Get 30 gold coins, and a seed of wisdom. Can we back up around now? Essentially back the way we came. And um Actually I'm not gonna go into the pub just yet because I think that will activate something and I'm not sure if it will or not. Now I'm actually going to go around the long way because there's a very good reason for this. Because if we try to go the short way, there's a guy blocking our road. And he will not let us pass him if we pay him 10 gold. And we're cheapskates, so we're not going to do that. Instead, we're going to go all the way around. And for some reason I couldn't enter the door because that's a thing. While we're in here, we get a bunny tail, a bag of red powder, and 12 gold coins. Time, as I said, a lot of things to find too. And yes, there is two pubs in this time. This is the pub. That, this is not the pub that we're meant to go to. There's another pub. <laughs> There's two pubs in this time. The second pub. Oops. Apparently there's this Jester bloke who's been travelling around all the time, so it's a bit of a giant story here. One nice thing to do is put yourself out by going all over the place so just so you make people laugh. Yeah, there's all these cool stuff in the world. And maybe not the Jester though. Anyway, you get a piece of water wheel mould. Map. Well, well, there's a face that I haven't seen in, in a while. Yang gets me old mucker. I suppose you're going straight to, through the DM, will you? 
Nah, just passing through really. Everyone should be hands off all that dirty business now. Oh, right, you can't do that, Rip. Just yet. I forgot about that. That's okay. We can do that later. Still plenty to do though. Plenty to find. Actually, can you, you can't go in here, can you? Yeah, no, that door's locked. Locked from the inside. So you literally can't go in it. But we can go in here. Never gonna ever find doors. Doors are seem to be my worst enemy today. We get another mini metal. And a seed of strength. In through here now. You find a file of magic ward. Pretty good. Try to figure out which way to go here. So we need to go down here. And across and here. And yeah, we can even go to the back of these... The weapon the armor shop. We get a sort of chain mail for our trouble. Exiting out. I'm back up around here. Because there's more to this town. There is more to this town. There's even a well. Let's jump in. Let me find something. We find a mini metal. And a file of Arrow Psycho Westerns. Pretty good items. Shop right now. And one of these bags. We get another mini metal. See how sneaky they can be? Yeah, very. <laughs> I'm gonna go into this door. In this door, we get a seed of life. We, I think we can't get this door. Yeah, no, we can't do that, anything that door. Just yet, anyway. We can go in here. And file uh, and find an art file of Holy War. You didn't go in here and, as the Chancellor did. Back out the way we came. To the pub where King Trojan awaits us. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> I 
And uh, before we go in, let's explore the inn. There's very, there's, there's a couple of items here too. Believe it or not. Up here. And it's actually the wrong one. I think it's this one. And this one contains 35 gold coins. Pretty good. And yeah, there's even stuff out here. He's in red mold. Alright. Now I have a whole veritable ton of items collected. I'm going to sell a little chain mail very quick right here. And before I go talk to Trout, we get a bottle of fresh milk from the barrels. Let's talk to King Trout. Let's go and find out what's happened. Until we do this. So, once you're here, you're sort of stuck here for a wee while. But honestly, to see if we it, it's worth it. Anyway, we need to go all the way over here. And this place where I was in before. Oh, what the hell? Get that monster 
Get one thousand gold coins. No need to worry. The black market geezer he was talking about is a mate of mine. He'll give us back the old princess if we give him back the dough. I mean, must. Why are we dallying around here? We must go to this geezer's shop immediately. All right. Do we have a new place to go? So remember that first pub we went to, where uh, I talked to the bartender and uh, we asked for Dodgy Dave. Well, we didn't ask for him, but we, but we assumed the bartender assumed we were going to see him. But Yangus was like, "No, we're not going to do that just yet." But now we're going to do it because we're going to do it. So essentially, it's just back where we came. It's actually turning into nighttime actually by the time I do this. Wow. What? Let's talk to the pub owner. Huh? You wanna go round back? Got some business to do, eh? <laughs> Straight down to business, eh, Angus? I'm sure Dodgy Dave would be happy to see his best customer is back again. Come on, in you go. Alright, with that, let's go in. And, uh, this is Dodgy Dave, I think. And, uh... go now to find this red person. Inside we get a mini metal and we can actually leave here but we are not going to just yet because we're going to talk to him again. You know where this place is don't you? You have to talk or talk to him and try and figure out between yourselves now. Wait you can't do it just yet? Oh no you can't okay. I thought you could do it right now but you can't. Mixed up in all this. It's the last thing I want to do right now. But 
where we're going to have to pay her a visit. She lives in a gap, southwest of town. Nice little paddy is. Slap bang wallet in the middle of the lake. Come and go. If we want her help the horse princess, that's where we got her head. To the southwest. And we have our task. We know where to go because Yangus has been here before. Wonder if there's something going on here. Yangus knows a lot, obviously, about this time. And we just bought night time. <laughs> Are the shops still open at night time? No, they're not. Okie dokie. And um, you know what I'm going to do? I'm actually going to rest till morning because I need to go to the shops. Time does pass, even when you're in a town. You do have to remember. You do have to remember that most of the time, shops are shut during night time. So you kind of need to plan a little bit ahead on that. And I didn't, unfortunately. But you know, mistakes are made. Gonna buy two iron shields. Just put them in my bag. And buy a leather cape for Angelo. management. It's been a while since we've done this. Sell the old shields. We don't need them anymore. You know what? I must to sell. What else can I sell? I could sell the fresh milk actually. You know what? I'm gonna do that. Just enough. Enough for what? The dancer's costume for Jessica. And I forgot to sell her old armor, because I'm a silly billy. some new armor now which might make us a little bit stronger against these enemies that are ahead of us. And uh, before we leave Pick'em, there's one place we need to go and that's the casino. So yes, this is the first time with a casino. Casinos are a very integral part of a lot of Dragon Quest games actually. Casinos work slightly different. Everything works in tokens instead of gold. So as you can see, we don't have any tokens at all. Oh, wait, we can? Oh, okay. Well, we can purchase tokens. However, each casino token costs 20 gold coins. So one is 20 and then 10 is 200 and so forth and so on. We're not gonna buy any right now, but you know, it's there. And uh, we can utilize this a little bit. A little bit. But for now, let's leave.
Because next time on Dragon Quest E Journey of the Cursed King, we're gonna explore a little bit before we go to Red Place because we have a lot of places to go and a lot of things to explore and a lot of things to do. So with all that being said, if you've enjoyed this episode, don't forget to give this episode a little like and also don't forget to subscribe to become part of my community where we spread fun and positivity. See you again.